Hi everyone. So today I thought I would answer some of your hypno questions. Um, I get sent quite a bit of mail and some of it I'm able to reply to personally which is really great and other times I get super busy and I do tend to get a lot of the same questions um, repeated at me all the time. So I thought I would try to answer some of those here. Um, of course, always feel free to send them to me, um, put them in the YouTube comments, I read them and I will do my best. So the first question I have is, can you make a video just for me? And the short answer to that is yes I can. Um, if you would like a video made especially for you, I do do them. They do cost $120 per video. Um, you can request any sort of theme for the video that you want, if you want it for exam anxiety or um, you can let me know what you would specifically like the video for, that's fine. Um, and they are made just for you. Um, if I get a certain number of requests for a particular type of video, then that will kind of lead the direction um, of future videos that I make and upload for you guys for free on YouTube. The second question I have is, can anyone be hypnotized? Now, this falls into a lot I get asked a lot about, is hypnosis real, can anyone be hypnotized, I bet you can't hypnotize me, all of those types of things. Um, look, the thing with hypnosis is you will see a lot of people saying that anyone can be hypnotized and all of those kinds of things. Now, that's pretty much true. Um, generally, the only reason somebody cannot be hypnotized is because they do not want to be hypnotized. If you are afraid of hypnosis, if you are not comfortable, if you just don't want to do it, then that's your choice. If you choose to focus, if you choose to be hypnotized, then you'll enjoy it. It'll be a nice experience. And so, yes, anyone who wants to be hypnotized can be hypnotized. Some people are more suggestible than others. Some people will go deeper than others. But basically, it's also a skill that you can learn like anything else. Um, it tends to be when I see people, they get better at hypnosis, they'll go um, deeper, faster, the more times I see them. So I hope that answers that question for you. So the third and final question that I have for tonight is with regards to Skype Gnosis. Um, I get asked about Skype Gnosis quite a lot, I've been doing it for a few years now. Um, I love doing Skype Gnosis, I love that I can see clients from all over the world that I am not just confined to where I am because I also like to move a lot. Um, basically Skype Gnosis is a very very similar experience to my in office experience. There are very few things that I do do in my office that I don't do on Skype. Um, obviously I may adjust my inductions and things like that because I don't have the ability to touch the person, I don't have the ability to drop their hand or anything like that. Um, but anything that I can do in my office I can do on Skype, generally speaking. Take everybody on a case-by-case -case basis as I do in my real life office. Um, or I should say in my in-person office. Um, I love that with Skype Gnosis we're not constrained to regular office hours. Um, look, people have hectic schedules. I get it, I have a hectic schedule too. Um, I like that you're able to make yourself comfortable in your own surroundings. I do ask that you are either the only person home or that you have um, people in your home who understand that you need to be left alone for that hour and that things need to be quiet and that you need to not be disturbed. Um, I do get asked a lot about if people can be left in hypnosis if Skype drops out or something like that. And no, they cannot. Absolutely not. Um, at the beginning of every Skype, no Skype gnosis session, um, you will be given a couple of suggestions with regards to what to do if the connection fails or something like that, if there's some sort of technical issue. Um, and that you'll simply emerge from hypnosis and reconnect. Um, you're never going to be left in hypnosis by any means. Um, not knowing what to do. Um, it almost never happens. It's very actually highly unusual for the Skype connection to fail. Um, if it does, we usually reconnect very quickly and on some occasions I'll just reschedule the session if Skype just doesn't want to cooperate that day, which is pretty unusual really. So that is it for today. Um, please send me your comments, questions, um, etc. on YouTube. Um, put them in the comments. You can also inbox me your questions. I won't use anybody's username. 
unless you want me to, <laughs> um, for privacy reasons. So ask away and I will be back soon. I hope everybody has a great week. Cheers. Bye.